Dear friends, welcome to A's American English Center. Take your Baron Zanko video number 59. It's American accent training. This is what you have come here. Page number 154 to 155. Description. What do you mean by description? All the adjectives. What are the adjectives? Good, bad, beautiful, tall, short. They are the descriptions. Descriptive phrase story. So with the description and a known, we have formed quite a lot of, uh, with the description, we have formed an essay. Snow white and seven dwarfs. What do you mean by dwarfs? People who are short. They are called dwarfs. Snow white, she is a girl. The descriptive phrase story, description means what you are describing, certain nouns. Descriptive phrase, phrase means what two or three words joined together to give a meaning, but not a complete meaning is called phrase. So descriptive phrase story, a story is given here. Snow White, a girl and the seven dwarfs. So heroine with seven short men, right? Snow White. Why do you stress on white? All the red letter words are to be stressed. Snow white. Hmm? White is noun. Snow white was a beautiful princess. Why do you stress on princess? Beautiful is a description. Princess is a noun. So snow white was a beautiful princess. Right? So princess you should, should, should stress. On the cast wall. Castle wall. Okay, cast, castle, castle wall. Okay, castle means what? A palace wall. There was an enchanted mirror. Enchanted mirror. Enchanted means what? Giving it's so beautiful. Mirror is a noun. So enchanted mirror. You have to stress on mirror. Owned by an old woman. Which you have to stress, old of women, women, because old is an adjective. So, a wicked witch, which means what? A lady who practices black magic. She is called a witch. A wicked witch, which is a noun, wicked, wicked is an adjective. So, you are not stressing on wicked, you are stressing on witch. Mirror, mirror. On the wall, who's the fairest of them all? So this old lady, the witch, she sees the mirror and she asks, mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Tell me the beautiful and most beautiful girl in the world. Show me a photo. When the mirror answered, the mirror said, Snow White, what is the girl's name? She's the Snow White. The young girl, young is an adjective, girl is a noun, so you are stressing on girl. Young girl was banished from a glorious castle. So she was living in castle. Castle means what? Big palace. So she was taken away from castle. Glorious castle. Glorious is adjective, castle is a noun. To live in the dark woods. So this old witch, what she did? She took away Snow White from the castle, the palace and put her in dark woods. Dark woods, woods is noun, dark is adjective. She met seven dwarves. She met seven dwarves. So dwarves is noun, seven is adjective. So seven dwarves, right? Short people. And they lived in a small hut. Hut is a noun, small is an adjective. So hut should be stressed. The evil witch, the evil lady, tried to kill the poor girl. She tried to kill the poor girl. Who is the poor girl? Snow White. So girl is a noun, poor is an adjective. With a poisoned apple. Apple is a noun, poison is adjective. So apple you are stressing. But she was saved by a handsome prince. What type of prince? Handsome prince. So prince should be stressed and handsome is adjective, less stressed. They had a beautiful wedding. What type of wedding? Beautiful wedding. And lived happily ever after. Right? So able to understand a story. One girl, one which was there. So there was a mirror and she asked the mirror, show me the beautiful and the most fairest girl in the world. And the mirror says Snow White. So the witch was very angry. She took away Snow White from the castle, the palace and threw her in dark woods. There she was saved by seven dwarves. So the witch want, 
t- to kill the Tsar Snow White, so she poisoned her with an apple, but she was saved by a princess and they had a beautiful wedding, right, sir? So this is the story which you have to say. Snow White was a beautiful princess. On the castle wall, there was an enchanted mirror owned by an old woman, a wicked witch. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? When the mirror answered, Snow White, the young girl was banished from a glorious castle to live in the dark woods. She met seven jaws and they lived in a small hut. The evil witch tried to kill the poor girl with a poisoned apple, but she was saved by a handsome prince. They had a beautiful wedding and lived happily ever after. Got it, sir? Now, sentence stress with the set phrases. Sentence stress with set phrases. What do you mean by set phrases, sir? See, wild cat, egg timer, car crash. Two nouns are there. When two nouns comes, the first noun should be stressed. Got it? See, it's a cat. Cat is a noun. It's a wild. Wild is a noun. So, it's a wild cat. The first noun should be stressed. See, computer, center, computer is a noun. Center is a noun. Two nouns. Which you have to stress is a computer center. Computer should be stressed. When two nouns are there, the first noun should be stressed. See, it's an egg. One noun is a timer. Timer is a noun. It's an egg timer. It's an egg timer. The first noun should be stressed. It's a car. Car is a noun. It's a crash. It's an accident. It's a car crash. First noun should be stressed. Got it, sir? Now, set phrase story. Our male man. Who is a male man? A postman, right? A male man. So, in this all you are stressing on nouns. Adjectives are less stressed. Here, two, two nouns are coming. When two nouns are coming, the first noun should be stressed. You got it? When adjective and noun comes, the noun should be stressed. For example, castle wall. Wall should be stressed. Handsome prince. The prince should be stressed, not handsome. Here, when two nouns are coming, first noun should be stressed. See here, a male man. Male is a noun, man is a noun. Right? Which should be stressed? Male should be stressed. A male man loves junk food. Junk is a noun, food is a noun, right? So junk is stress, junk food. So our male man loves junk food at dinner time. Dinner is a noun, time is a noun, dinner is stress. At dinner time, yes, potato chips. Potato is a noun, chips is a noun. You are stressing on potato chips, uh, potato chips. And a, and a hot dog. What do you mean by hot dog? Is the dog is hot? No. A bun or bread will be there and say that you put some uh, non-vegetarian and it is called hot jug. He puts some soy sauce. Soy and sauce. Two nouns are there. Stressing on soy. Soya sauce. They say soy sauce. That is egg plant. Egg is a noun. Plant is a noun. Egg is stressed but it gives him a stomach ache. Stomach is a noun. Egg is a noun. So you are stressing on stomach ache. For dessert. What do you mean by dessert? Dessert. After meals you eat uh, certain fruits uh, with a juice or ice cream is called desert. He has a watermelon. Water is a noun, melon is a noun. First noun, water should be stressed. And a grapefruit, grape should be stressed. Two nouns are there. And some ice cream. You don't say ice cream, ice cream. I should be stressed more. Afterwards, he leaves the dinner table. Dinner is a noun. Table is a noun. Dinner should be stressed. And he goes to the book shelf. Book should be stressed more. In his bedroom. Bed should be stressed. He takes it down. He takes down. He takes down what? A notebook. And does his homework. He puts a clean pillow case. Pillow is a noun. Case is a noun. Pillow should be stressed. On his pillow. Mm. Covers up with the bed spread, right, sir? So our main man loves junk food. At dinner time, he has potato chips and a hot jug. He puts some soy sauce on his eggplant, but it gives him a stomach cake. For dessert, he has a watermelon, a grapefruit, and some ice cream. Afterwards, he leaves the dinner table and goes to the bookshelf in his bedroom. He takes down a notebook and does his homework. He puts a clean pillowcase on his pillow, covers up with the bed spread. You got it, sir? So description, you are... You are Uh, emphasizing on nouns here when two nouns are coming as a set phrase you are stressing on the first noun and coming here 
contrasting descriptive and set phrase. See here is a black cat. The cat is a noun. You have to stress on cat. Is a wild cat. Two nouns are there. You have to stress on wild cat. Is a scramble. It's a scrambled egg. What do you mean by scramble? You are putting, shaking, putting, adding milk with the egg. And uh, you know you're toasting. Is a scrambled egg. Is an egg timer. Set phrase. This is a description. Is a fast car. Is a car crash. So car should be stressed more. Two word stress. When two. See descriptive phrase. A rocky garden. Garden is a noun. A gilded cage. Cage is a noun. Melted butter. Butter is a noun. Tomato soup. Soup is a noun. A baby good. Good is a noun. When two phrases are, uh, two nouns are there, first noun is stressed. A rock garden. A bird cage. A butter knife. Tomato sauce. Escape goat. Nationality intonation quiz. A French guy. A French restaurant. French food. A French fry. French toast. French horn. French Canadian. A French teacher. French joke. So what's the difference between a French teacher, you are stressing on French first. What is the difference between you are stressing on teacher, a French teacher, a French teacher, a French teacher. When you stress on French teacher, the teacher teaches you French. She is a French teacher. So she teaches French. A French Teacher, she is a French teacher. She is coming from France, right? Is a American hotel. Is American hotel. So he is a American guy. It's American guy. What's the difference? So a French book teaches the French language. A French book. This book comes from France. You got it, sir. A French food. Crozines for breakfast. What do you mean by crozines? Crozines. Hmm? It is a sort of a, you know, it will be like a, a curve type, a food item. In French, a French restaurant. So, serves crozines for breakfast. You got it, sir? So, what you are able to understand, when adjective and a noun is there, noun should be stressed more. When noun and noun, two nouns are there, first noun should be stressed. And you are able to understand, when you go in for a French restaurant when French is stressed more or French teacher it means that they teach you French and French teacher when teacher is stressed and French is less stressed uh, so it becomes a description then what happens it is they are from France you got it sir so I request you gentlemen to come forward please come forward and read this you have to insert phrases uh, in a description you have to stress on the uh, noun right consider that. Snow, Snow White was a beautiful princess. Don't cover the board. Uh, stand it. Camera is watching. Yes. Uh, Snow White was a beautiful princess. Snow White was a beautiful princess on the castle wall. There was an enchanted mirror owned by an old woman, woman, a wicked witch. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is who's the face to, of them all? When the mirror answered Snow White, the young girl was banished from the glorious castle to live in the dark woods. She met seven doves, and they lived in, the, in a small hut. The evil witch tried to kill the poor girl with a poison apple, but she was saved by a handsome prince. They had a beautiful wedding and lived happily ever after. No modulations at all. Please sit down, sir. You, you young lady, please come. So you have to stress on the noun. Adjective should be less stressed. You uh, do the modulation. Snow White was a beautiful print. All the nouns should be stressed more. Yes, start. Snow White was a beautiful princess. On the casual wall, there was, there was a, an ancient... Enchanted mirror. Enchanted mirror owned by a old woman. A wicked witch. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of, the fairest of, the, of them all? When the mirror answered, Snow White, 
the young girl was banished from her glorious castle to live in the dark woods she met seven dwarves 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 and they lived in a small hut hut the evil witch tried to kill the poor girl with a poison apple but she was saved by a handsome prince they had a beautiful wed- wedding and lived happily ever after yes you young lady come with voice modulation beautifully you have to sing speaking should be like singing a song melodious snow white it was a beautiful princess on the castle wall oh start snow white was a beautiful princess on the castle wall there was a an enchanted mirror owned by an old woman a wicked witch mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all when the mirror answered snow white the young girl was banished from her glorious castle to live in the dark woods she meets seven dwarfs and they live in a small hut the evil witch tried to kill the poor girl with a poison apple but she was saved by a handsome prince they had a beautiful wedding and lived happily ever after you ring uh, read the set phrases when two nouns are there first noun should be stressed on male men those those junk food ah start uh, our go, male ah. our male man loves junk food look at show your face man turn the side ah, ah. at dinner time he has potato chips and a and a hot dog he puts some soy sauce on his egg plant but it gives him a stomach ache for dessert he has a watermelon and a grape fruit and some ice cream afterwards he leaves the dinner table and goes to the bookshelf in his bedroom he takes down a notebook and does his homework he puts a clean pillow case on his pillow covers up with the bed spread as yes, you man uh, speak in a you know only in the commas you have to give gap the rhythm and beat should keep on coming in your mouth our male man loves junk foods at dinner time he has, he has potato chips and a lo- hot dog he puts some soy sauce on his egg plants egg plant but he it gives him a stomach itch for dessert he has a watermelon a grapefruit and a ice cream afterwards he leaves the dinner table and goes to the bookshelf in his bedroom he takes down a notebook and does his homework he puts a clean pillow case on his pillow goes up with the bed spot still no not much of rhythm is there yes up and down up and down noun should first noun should be stressed i second noun should be low 50% sound yes start a male man loves junk food a dinner time yes potato chips ah our male man loves junk food mike our male man loves junk food at dinner time he has potato chips and a hot dog He put some soy sauce on his egg plant but it gives him a stomach ache for dessert he has a watermelon a grapefruit and some ice cream afterwards he leaves the dinner table and goes to the bookshelf in his bedroom he takes down a notebook and does him homework he puts a clean pillow case on his pillow cause of the bed spread okay nanbergle yes american anglo vagupulukku varavirikkiram ungalude parents and cook book eduthukollungal video number 59 page number 154 55 nanbergle description endrale nalla payan good boy nalla payan good endrathu adjective boy endrathu noun நல்ல பையன் ஆக பையனுக்கு அழுத்தம் கொடுக்கணும் நல்ல என்பது கொஞ்சம் ஃபிஃப்டி பர்சன்ட் கொடுக்கணும் ஸோ பொதுவாகவே நவுனை டிஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கிற பொழுது நவுனுக்கு அதிக அழுத்தம் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் இந்த நவுனுக்கு அதிக அழுத்தம் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய சொற்றொடர்களாக வைத்து ஒரு கதை பின்னப்பட்டிருக்கிறது 
ஒரு கோட்டையிலே ஒரு கிழவி இருக்கிறாள் ஒரு தந்திரக்காரி மந்திரக்காரி அவள் கோட்டையிலே ஒரு பெரிய கண்ணாடி இருக்கிறது அந்த கண்ணாடியிடம் கேட்கிறாள் கண்ணாடியை கண்ணாடியே இந்த உலகத்திலேயே அழகான பெண் யார் என்று அந்த கண்ணாடி ஸ்னோ ஒயிட் என்ற ஒரு பெண்மணியை சொல்கிறது காண்பிக்கிறது அந்த ஸ்னோ ஒயிட் ஒரு கோட்டையிலே மகாராணியாக வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாள் ராணியாக வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாள் அரசு இளங்குமரியாக வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாள் உடனே இந்த மந்திரக்காரி அந்த ஸ்னோ ஒயிட்டை மந்திரத்தால் கோட்டையை விட்டு எடுத்து ஒரு அடர்ந்த காட்டு பகுதியிலே தள்ளிவிடுகிறாள் மந்திரத்தால் அங்கே ஏழு குள்ளர்கள் அந்த ஸ்னோ ஒயிட்டை காப்பாற்றுகிறார்கள் அந்த சூனியக்காரிக்கு இன்னும் கோபமுக்கு தனியவில்லை அவள் ஆப்பிளிலே விஷம் கலந்த ஆப்பிளை எப்படியோ ஸ்னோ ஒயிட்டை சாப்பிட வைக்கிறாள் ஆனால் அங்கே ஒரு அழகான இளவரசன் வந்து ஸ்னோ ஒயிட்டை காப்பாற்றி அவளை திருமணம் செய்து கொள்கிறான் ஆக எல்லாம் விவரித்தல் 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 விவரிக்கிற பொழுது அந்த நவுனுக்கு அழுத்தம் கொடுக்க வேண்டும் ஸ்னோ ஒயிட் வாஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் பிரின்சஸ் ஆன் த கேசில் வால் கேசில்னா கோட்டை வால்னா செவர் த வாஸ் எ என்சான்ட் மிரர் ஒரு அழகான பெரிய கண்ணாடி இருக்கிறது ஒன் பை என் ஓல்டு விமன் ஒரு வயதான விமன் எ விக்கெட் விச் ஒரு சூனியக்காரி மிரர் மிரர் ஆன் த வால் கண்ணாடி கண்ணாடியை சுவற்றில் இருக்க கண்ணாடியை ஊஸ் த ஃபேரஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த மால் இருப்பதே அழகான பெண் யார் வந்த மிரர் ஆன்சர்ஸ் நோ வாய்ட் த யங் கேர்ள் வாஸ் பேனிஷ் ஃப்ரம் அ க்ளோரியஸ் கேசல் அந்த இளம் பெண் ஸ்னோ ஒயிட் தன்னுடைய கோட்டையிலிருந்து நீக்கப்படுகிறார் டு லிவ் இந்த டாக் வுட்ஸ் கலந்த காட்டு பகுதியில் ஷிமெட் செவன் ஜுவாஸ் ஏழு குள்ளர்களை சந்திக்கிறார் இந்த லிவ்ட் இன் ஏ ஸ்மால் ஹட் அவர்கள் ஒரு சிறு குடிசையிலே வாழ்கிறார்கள் த ஈவில் விச் ட்ரை டு கில் த பர் கேர்ள் அந்த சூனியக்காரி அந்த பாவப்பட்ட பெண்ணை கொலை செய்ய பாய்க்கிறாள் வித் எ பாய்சன் ஆப்பிள் ஒரு விஷம் கலந்த ஆப்பிள் மூலமாக பட் ஷி வாஸ் சேவ் பை ஹேண்ட்ஸம் பிரீன்ஸ் ஒரு இளவரசன் அழகான இளவரசனால் காப்பாற்றப்படுகிறார் தே ஹேட் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் வெட்டிங் ஒரு அழகான திருமணம் and lived happily for ever after adarku piragu sandoshamaga vaalgiraargal so sentence stress pathinga inge is a cat cat en bodu ponai is a while adu romba romba kaattu is a while cat rendu noun serukira bodu modal noun ku artham kudukireergal is an egg adu or mutra it's a timer adu timer is a egg timer modal noun ku artham kudukireenga adjective na நவுனு கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க அப்ஜெக்டிவ் டம்மி விட்டு ரெண்டு நவுன் சேரிக்கிற பொழுது ஃபஸ்ட் நவுனு கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க இட்ஸ் கார் இட்ஸ் கிராஷ் அது ஒரு விபத்து இட்ஸ் எ கார் கிராஷ் கார் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீர்கள் அதே போன்று இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு மெயில் மேன் ஒரு போஸ்ட்மேன் அவன் எப்போவுமே நல்லா வேகா இந்த நூடுல்ஸ் கீடுல்ஸ் எல்லாம் அதிகமாக சாப்பிடக்கூடியவன் அவன் சிப் பொட்டேட்டோ சிப்ஸ் எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றான் சாஸ் எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றான் கிரேப் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் எல்லாம் சாப்பிட்றான் அதை பற்றி ரெண்டு ரெண்டு நவுனாக வருகிற பொழுது முதல் நவுனுக்கு அழுத்தம் கொடுக்கணும் அவன் மெயின் மேன் போஸ்ட் மேன் அப்போ மெயிலுக்கு அழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க லவ் ஜங்க் ஃபுட் வேகமாக செய்த சாப்பாடு ஜங்க்கு கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க அட் டின்னர் டைம் இரவு சாப்பாடு நேரத்தில் டின்னருக்கு எஸ் பொட்டேட்டோ சிப்ஸ் பொட்டேட்டோ கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க உருளைக்கிழங்கு சிப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹாட் ஜாக் ஹாட் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க ஹாட் டாக்னா என்ன சார் அந்த பண்ணில் ஒரு மாமிசத்தை வைத்து சாப்பிடக்கூடியது இ புட் சம் சாய் சாஸ் சோயா சாஸ் போட்டு பிடிக்கிறான் ஆன் இஸ் எக் பிளான்ட் அந்த எக்கு கழுத்தம் கொடுக்கணும் பட் இட் கிவ்ஸ் மே ஸ்டமக் எக் ஸ்டமக் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க ஃபார் டெசர்ட் டெசர்ட் என்றால் என்ன உணவு சாப்பிட்டு முடித்தவுடன் சாப்பிடக்கூடிய ஒரு பல ரசம் இஸ் எ வாட்டர் மெலன் தருப்பூசணி வாட்டர் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க அண்ட் கிரேப் ஃப்ரூட் திராட்சை பழங்கள் திராட்சை கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க அண்ட் சம் ஐஸ்கிரீம் ஐஸ் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க ஆஃப்டர் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப்டர் கீ லவ்ஸ் த டின்னர் டேபிள் டின்னர் கழுத்தம் கொடுக்குறீங்க அண்ட் கோஸ் டு த புக் ஷெல்ஃப் இன் இஸ் பெட்ரூம் ஹி டேக்ஸ் அ ஜவுன் ஏ நோட் புக் அண்ட் டஸ் இஸ் ஹோம் ஒர்க் ஹி புட்ஸ் ஏ கிளீன் pillow case on his pillow covers up with the bed spread writing la rendu noun varikira bodu modal noun kalatham kudukringa descriptive is a black cat cat kalatham kudukringa black and the description is a wild cat noun ku varikira bodu modal noun ku wild kalatham kudukireergal is a scrambled egg scrambled endral na muttaiyum baalum kalanda muttai is an egg timer rendu noun varikira bodu egg kalatham kudukringa is a fast car id description car kalatham kudukringa is a car crash car kalatham kudukringa rendu noun is a rocky garden description a rock garden idu vandu set a gilded cage a bird cage rendu noun varikira first 
non melted butter, a butter knife, butter kalta gurukaring a tomato soup, chomecha soup, ademari baby goat, a scapegoat. So, in the pathing nationality, French guy, French restaurant, French food, French fry, French toast, French horn, French Canadian, French teacher, French dog. In the render and the bathing, the meaning mari very good. A French teacher, French Kalatan good Kirabode, are they and the or a teacher, French and Kakuri a teacher, Akari Kirar. French book, French Kalatan good Kirabode than the Bustam de French subject, a pathy, a French teacher. French Natalin, the Wonder Kakodi, a teacher, French book, French Natalin, the Wonder Kakodi, a book in Rosal Europe, Ademar, French food, ah, with another thick cross ends, cross ends and Aline, or Nila, Pere, Vadiva Tilica Kodia, Nila, Vadiva Tilica Kodia, Uruvakiane, Banum Breadum, Ade Sapa Kodia, as France Natalie, make him a problem under the cross ends. Hope you're able to get it, are you clear? Thank you very much.